Hey guys, it's me again. Uh, <clears throat> forgot today's date. What's a guy in my head? I got smacked in my head against the freaking my dad's guitar, whatever how you call it. I don't even fucking know what it's called. Who made some cup holder for his drinks for beer and whatnot, but whatever. <laughs> I think it's a 24th or something like that. Or maybe 22nd. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a long day. Pretty tired. <laughs> Wood. Same day, same video. Anyways, um, oh god, it's been a rough day for me. Oh god, shut up. I'm trying to make a video, okay, man. Appreciate it. Anyways, uh, was, oh yeah, right. I'll just talk to you guys about. I'm getting another car. This time it's an actual car, not a truck. But what I want to do with it, I know it might be a disgrace to people who love Fords or people who love Chevy, but I want to turn to a drag car. Anyways, it's a Ford Fairlane 1963. And it has a blown motor, but the good thing about it is I'm going to go for 2500 You might think, oh, it's going to be a piece of shit car. It's going to be total blah, blah. Believe it or not, it's a family friend who ain't going to, I ain't going to tell you where it's at. I already know where it's at, but he's a close friend of my dad. And me and me, I helped uh, with the party that they set up for his birthday, and he wants to give it to me for two thousand five hundred dollars. It's perfect condition, and it's already set up for a drag car, but it don't have a motor, which is okay. I'm getting put my vet motor into it, which might work. I hope it does, but we have to do a little couple configurations to it. But I ain't too worried about it, which. It's gonna be cool because I'm put Willie's on a back, Willie bars, whatever you call them. I think that's what they're called, Willie bars, to do Willie's uh, drag shit. But that's okay. And with um, money, I'm saving up now with my dad doing wood, fifty to hundred bucks per trip, depending on how many people come with us. If it's four of us, twenty five bucks. Five of us or three of us is to be. 50 bucks, I got 50 bucks, and then for uh, two of us, it's 100 per person. But the reason why that is is because he earns 130, you know, 165 dollars per cord, which is two rows stacked about five to six feet high of 16 inch uh, lengths of about 12 inches in diameter, maybe 15 diameter logs. And we put it up in there and stack them in the flat bed. He turned, he put some really cool cattle guard things on the side. Um, we put those on there. Um, how else what did we do to it? Uh, yeah, he straight piped it, no exhaust, <laughs> which is funny, or no muffler. So there's still an exhaust, somewhat of an exhaust, a little bit of exhaust, not much though. Anyways, and of course, my brother is playing stupid game still. I play sometimes still, but it means I'm being I'm getting more stupid playing every day. But he likes playing it cause he has nothing else better to do. He doesn't really like no much. He's a little slow brain wise. He has autism, but makes sense. And I have nothing Another against people autism. <laughs> you know, that's just funny. He's like by a better IQ, a higher IQ than most college people. It's probably true. Kids with autism have <laughs> skyrocketing IQ. My brother, he's hella smart. He almost, he was so close to making a laser gun, which is kind of cool. I think it's cool as fuck. Anyways, um, and he continues crashing in the game. Whatever, it's super loud because we have a huge surround system. And of course, I'm gonna show you the cars driving. I don't like Mustangs, but whatever. People who like Mustangs don't hate me or anything. I love Chevy Camaros. We're probably very competitive. I'm, I got a 69 Camaro. Well, I don't own it right now, but my grandpa passed away and he wrote a will for me, so I have to go to Twin to get it. It's so much hope. Probably because of me. <laughs> I didn't mean to crash. It was it was a mistake on my part, but my uncle and my grandpa were drunk and I was younger. I was about 14 about the time. First time driving a car. Automatic. Super funny though. What happened was 
um, I was driving it, and it went thunk and hit a pole. So the front end is total a bit, but I think they got rid of it, which I don't care if they did or not. It's so whatever, but I do have another car I might get. I, never, I don't think they wrote a will for me for that car. Maybe the Ford, uh, they have a Ford. I'm not really a Ford person because I've always stuck with Chevy. I've always been a Chevy guy, which is something most people don't like Chevys, but a lot of people do where I live in Salmon. People love Chevys. They just love them. I got a guy who offered to buy my Chevy for more than what it's worth. A Chevy Scottsdale, just the body itself runs for two grand. The shape it is now is a little bit more, maybe five grand, maybe a little less. But the vet motor in it is worth eight thousand. He offered. What was it? He said he bought eighty thousand dollars for it. I was like, mm, good offer, man, but I won't take it because I got the truck for free, and it wouldn't be fair to you because the truck ain't worth that much, and I'm restoring it. I'm gonna restore it. Maybe, maybe not, but that car is going to get me through a lot of shit. I know it will. My family and friends always tell me that trucks can get you through all the shit you're going to have to go through. I was like, you're probably damn right it will. Because it's a good truck. It's four-wheel drive. It's hella nice. I really don't know why he continues playing that game every day, but whatever. Okay, this kid over here needs some serious fucking help. He's older than me by a year and a couple of months, and he's over there playing the game still. <laughs> okay, Mr. Educational needs to get it straight. Okay, my birthday is September 9th, 2001, two days before 9 11. His is September 25th, 01. Or not 01, sorry, 2000. It's oh, it's it's zero 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 zero. Okay, that's two thousand. Okay, whatever. I'm seriously, I'm, my head's fucked up today. I know it is. It's badly messed up. I smacked that sucker. My dad and I were horse wrestling. We're basically horsing around, and he was wrestling with me and tickling me. And I don't know why he's tickling me, but because he's a little upset with me earlier. This morning, woke up, was annoyed at me and my brother playing the, the stupid game. He was like, "Quit playing that fucking game." I'm like. Okay, I'll stop playing it. And he's like, damn right you will, I'm gonna tip you. I was like, okay, I'll continue playing it, you know, just to piss, just to mess around with them, maybe piss him off. Into pissing him off as he gets up. And he's like, okay, you, you asked for it. It starts tickling me, and I'm like, ah, funny, you know, laughing about it, because I think it's funny. And, and I seriously hate that fucking sound. Hold up, let me guys, come here, have him. Yo, can you turn that shit down, please? I'm sure the people on the on YouTube, well, whatever, if they ever watch this video, they're like, oh, what the hell, Quit having him play that damn game. Anyways, he'll turn it down eventually. He said, hold on, I'll turn it down in a few minutes, but I was like, okay. Whenever he gets the time to do, he's still fucking around for no reason. I don't even know what the hell he's doing. He's just being stupid, but okay. Anyways, I might as well go in some more quieter. Let me go to the kitchen. The kitchen's a mess too. But look, look at this car. Ugly AF. Shit car, what it is, that's what it is. What? No, I hate that kind of car. Oh, cannot stand them. Anyways, this house is ancient. <laughs> it's 1912 is when this house was built, so I don't know why it's so old. Anyways, yeah, I got the cats pissed off at one of the cats. The only cat we got, possum. Pretty cool cat. Um, I got an AK. <laughs> You'll think it's funny. It's a not AK. It's an AR-15. But it's not a gun. It's it looks like a gun, but it's a lighter, and it's funny. It looks. It's, I thought it was pretty cute. There was a there was a really cute girl at the store today, right? And I bought it, and she's at the cash register. She's like, "Who are you buying this for?" Because usually they're meant for gifts for older guys, right? And like not really old guys, but like guys who like doing stuff and going out and do it out of the way. Anyways, I grabbed it. It was fucking cool. They'll probably laugh at me for buying it, but it's pretty funny. It works like a lighter. And it's funny. It shoots at the end. That metal piece in there, you might see it, but watch this shit. <laughs> I can get it to light. It's a bitch to light. Ah, fuck. It hurts my hand. I can't do it right now. Hold up. Let me pop the camera up so I can light it. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't think I can. Hold up. This will be. A, this is going to be a bitch to set and pop. There we go. 
Okay, guys. Don't laugh at me if I hurt my hand. Wow, isn't that cool? Wish it was a torch, that'd be even cooler. But I bet you if I walk in the store like this and point it at someone, they're like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, it's not a gun. Ha, it's not illegal. <laughs> and they look at me like, what a dumbass. And then goes my phone. Nice, cool, right? Fuck. Man, I hate phones sometimes. I really wish they had a way to prop up. Like, if you could prop them up, it would make life ten times easier. Like, if they're, like, I know this phone really well and it didn't come with the case it should have but it was a prepaid phone because that's the only thing I can afford right now because I have a truck to work on and order shit and it's a pain in the ass anyways and he's still playing a video game what the fuck man see he's over there he's just playing it just sitting there on his ass like always zoom 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 <laughs> I love giving my brother the shit he's funny anyways believe it or not my name's Brandon Lee Simon, right? Get this, I was told today by my dad, who I haven't seen in 14 years, I was in foster care, which sucks. I hate the state, not as much, I don't hate the state living in the state, I just hate the people who work for the state. They're a bunch of bum, a bunch of punks, and I was mistreated a lot by a lot of people. I've been through a lot of crap, and I'm sure the people who are, all the kids in foster care can relate to me. And I know it sucks for those kids who are out there because I've been through it. I know what it's like. And I don't need nobody to feel sorry for me because I've been through it and I know what it's like. But uh, I was used a lot to make money. People made money off of me. I had an adopted family who made, not necessarily make money off of me, but to use it to keep me out of their house, which is pretty fucked. I was adopted by them, legally adopted through the adoption, whatever, right? Anyways, they had me wrote this huge BS story about my bio family and how they abused me, mistreated me and my family, and it's not true. Me and my sisters were never mistreated. We were always fed well. We always have food everywhere, clothes, brand new clothes. We were set. We had a really nice vehicle. Then police came and blah, 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 neighbor, Oh, the neighbor, I hated him so much. I caused him so much crap in preschool. It was funny. I like I like giving him crap. Because he gets so mad at me. He's like, Brandon Lee Simon. And I'm like, Mr. Mac E. What the fuck do you want? And he looks at me. He's like, who taught you how to swear? I'm like, none of your damn bitch. And <laughs> he got mad at me for that one. And he's like, okay. If you want to treat me like this. You'll get it coming to you. I'm like, okay, whatever. He, he's just messing with me now. And he wasn't messing around. A few days later, he made up a story to the family services saying he isn't being treated well. He's being abused. He's coming home, coming to school dirty, stinks, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't shower, not potty trained. I was potty trained at the age of four. I was age, about age four and a half by then. I was probably trained in P in class. I was really smart, I was really cool. I was very intelligent and then I got taken away. Caused a lot of heartache for me, I was sad. I cried because it, it sucked. It sucked going through it, but you know, I'm over it now, it's in the past. I forgave that guy, but he was jealous. His daughter uh, passed away, which is sad. But he took his anger out on the wrong person. It was nobody's fault, not even his fault, but he got mad at nobody you know, for uh, us for no reason, no reason at all, other than just to blame it on someone else or get rid of his heartache, which I think over time he felt guilty because he never talked to me and he stopped talking to me after a while and kind of everyone around me, he'd put his head down like that and he had a sad face on and I realized he felt bad. Which that was his way of feeling bad for someone that's putting their head down. And then my last day of school, I was like, look man, my life's good now. I've been adopted. And hold up. Let me talk to the dog. The dog's fucking barking like always. Hold up. Oh, doggy woggy. What's wrong? What's wrong? Buggy wuggies? Hey, puggers. That one's blind. The black one's blind. Sad dog, right? Poor puppy. The other one's just sleeping. He's tired. The other one's barking and rocking and rocking. The black one's name's Harley. I forgot the other one. I'm gonna carve him Marvin, cause Marvin's starving. He's laying in the bowl. 
<laughs> That's why I call him Marvin Starvin. <laughs> and he looks at me when I call him that, which is pretty cute. He's a pretty cute dog. I like him a lot. Anyways. So, Mr. Mackey, anyways, going on the story. I ended up telling him, like I said, I was in foster care, or not foster care, I'm adopted. And I'm going through, I'm doing good. Life's great and all. And... Uh, I'm kicking the damn kennel because they're pissing me off. If I can. <laughs> Shut up, Harvey. Fucking dumb dog. <sighs> Holy shit. I'm about to throw my fucking hat to the kennel. That's how pissed I am right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Dogs, what do you guys want? What the fuck's wrong with this? What's up, guys? What's up, Pippi? Hey. Hey, Harvey. It's okay. It's me. Anyways, here, I'm gonna say keep comfort. Comfort him. You know, I'm really cool with dogs. I'm a really cool person. I really have a good personality, but a lot of people don't like me. Not necessarily because who I am, but where I've came from, what I've been through, which sucks. I wish people didn't judge me from my past and all. And I used to steal. Don't steal anymore, which is good. I stopped stealing because I realized it's not worth it no more. It's not worth stealing. It's not. It's not really. It's not worth it at all. People who rob and do stupid stuff like that. It's just not worth it to them. It is maybe because they're making more money or that's their only way to make a living, which I feel bad for those people. I really do. I wish they didn't have to do that stuff. If they didn't have to do it, then they wouldn't be in trouble as much. They wouldn't get in trouble with the cops. They'd be, they'd have a good life. I'm sure they would. Like, I'm, there's other ways to make a living. You can ask neighbors to help. You can mow lawns, figure out a way to do it. Join a company if you don't get hired by them. It's okay. There's another way. There's always ways, but I have a friend, I really wish I still had contact with him, I don't, but I really do wish I did. Anyways, his name's Lewis. Um, he knew a girl named Hannah, I uh, forgot what her last name was, but anyways, he's in Orange County, I think, in San Francisco, San Francisco Bay Area. <laughs> uh, he's part of, the, part of a gang. But I'm not gonna mention his gang cause I don't wanna get in trouble. But he, he wouldn't get in trouble anyways. Me and him are good friends. I would get him in trouble anyways. Me and I wish I could join that gang. But it's not worth my time to join a gang. I have other things to do. I have a family to, to help take care of and a brother who needs help. I'm gonna stay here and do what I can. Cause that's who I am. I let him do his own thing because hell, he had a terrible, he had a worse situation than I had. He was adopted, he was abused in all his foster homes, he was hit, and you know, a kid who has autism, he has a, it's not bad autism, it's very little, he has very little autism, it's not bad. But with him, he just, once he's focused on something, there's no change in his mind. He wants to go boom to that thing, he won't change it. There's one path and one path only he'll stick to, which is funny, because I wish I could have him choose different paths, you know what I mean? Because if he had other things to do, he wouldn't be on video games all day. He wouldn't be doing that stuff, which isn't healthy for him at all. But, you know what? He didn't have very much of childhood. And this is his way to get his childhood back. To get, well, maybe, just say, by next summer. Guarantee you, he'll be out doing stuff. He will. I know he will. Last summer, he was doing stuff every day. Every day. Me and him would go out, and we were in an, an RTC. It was in Logan, Utah, very cool place, but it would only be cool because if you go there to visit. I don't really like being there, didn't like being there, didn't like the program, but the staff were super nice. Most of them were, some of them were complete jerks, but anyways, I liked the program only because they were helpful in school and they helped me get my education up and I'm in 12th grade, but I don't have an alternative school where I can finish those credits. Which might happen is that I'm gonna learn the skills of mechanic because I want to be a mechanic one day. I have the body build of being one, but which is funny <laughs> is I don't have any skills doing it. Nothing. I don't have no skills. I have very little skills. I know how to change a tire, which is good. I do know how to change the um, the windshield. I know how to do all the windshield stuff. It's wash car. That's easy. Pff, easy piece of cake. I had made uh, money. A couple of days, I don't know, a couple of days ago, like a month or two ago, I went washing cars for a high school kid. I was in regular high school, and I was only in a month, and I got kicked out, not for what I did. I didn't do anything wrong. It was because my credits 
weren't where they should have been. They messed up with my credits. They thought I was in 10th grade. Don't know how I didn't realize that at first. But then I ended up hearing from one of the girls in my class. She was like, oh, what grade are you? And I'm like, in 12th. And she's like, looks at me like, what the hell are you in this class for? Look, and I'm like, am I in the wrong class? And she's like, you're in the wrong grade. I'm like, wrong grade? What do you mean? And she's like, this is 10th grade. I'm like, what? So I was like, I got mad, and I was like, what the hell? So I went to the principal, I'm like, I was like, look, I think you got my class all messed up, right? He's like, okay, what grade are you in? And this was like about a month or a couple months, yeah, about two months ago, yeah, it was two months ago. And I was like, look, man, I'm in the wrong class. Wrong grade, wrong class, wrong time, wrong everything. And I said, it wasn't my doing, it was your doing. And he's like, looked at me like, what are you talking about? You're in 10th grade. I was like, no, look, I told you when I walked in here that I was in 12th grade, not 10th. You must have misheard me. And he's like, the only way I must, must have heard you is because I'm missing a hearing aid. And I'm like, well, no duh. He probably heard 10th out of 12. I don't know how that happens, but it happens, you know? And I was like, you know what? Do you mind if I go out to the class, right? And like, and I, he's like, you know what? That's fine. I'm gonna, you're not supposed to be in this grade anyways. And it's almost halfway through school year, so there's no point putting you in 12th grade, so we need you to leave. I was like, oh, okay, whatever, you know, I got a little upset from that, and I mean, I made a lot of progress, but it was to the point where it was so easy that I realized at the time, I should have realized, I was like, I'm in the wrong grade, what the hell? <laughs> but I didn't, because I was just so focused on getting my work done, you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so close to being finished. I was passing all Algebra 1, and that's when it hit me, Algebra 1, didn't I just do that in 10th grade too? Then I went to, that's when, that's when I, uh, that the girl asked me, she's like, what grade are you in? You're getting A's, straight A's in this class. I'm like, I must be super duper smart. She's like, how is your IQ? Like, is it good? Is it everything? I'm like, anyways, um, it, this camera's being, keeps like freezing and whatnot, being stupid. But anyways, this girl, super cool and all, um, told me, she's like, look, I don't think it's because you're smart i'm like what do you mean and she's like not being rude or anything but i think you've done it looks like you've done this class before and she's she was like well it looks like that way anyways in my mind mate she said she might be wrong i'm like well you could be and then i said then she's like you know what this class is 10th grade did you do 10th grade and i'm like that's when i was like what the hell but anyways that that should happen it's in the past too shouldn't worry about it if I don't find an alternative school in the next year or so, well, not the next year, I'll call. That would suck. I would hate to wait a whole year for school. Anyways, in the next month, in the next, in the next couple weeks, I should say, because the school start already started a couple months or about a month ago. So I need one more month, but I can catch up. I know I can. I'm pretty smart for my age. I'm 18. I know people are like, what the hell? You're 18. You should be graduated. Well, the thing with me is I take my time and when I take my time I get answers I get my problem solved correctly at the right time because it takes time to get your answers right and if you take time you'll get better at what you're doing that's what I do that's what I do I practice 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 and then I do the test practice practice and then so on and so forth but anyways um that was all I want to talk to you guys about today I'll see you guys tomorrow or maybe I might make another video. Who knows? <laughs> Anything can cap happen, huh? Anyways, guys, that was my experience. And that's why I came back home in Salmon, Idaho. Peace out, guys. See y'all later.